case that feels Dwell on the pad when I'm in the zone Hold down the fort whenever I'm home Hold down the fort whenever I'm gone But I'm always with God so I'm never alone I think of the past it's making me strong On the road to success but it's taking me long But I don't really care when I wake in the morn God knew it was on, on the day I was born Got introduced to the universe East London, the place my mama gave birth My grandma was there to see her first grandson She was the first one to hold me from the arms of my mum Yeah, the bond was there for all to see But I had to move with my grand by the age of three I used to always cry a lot, I didn't understand But my mummy got involved with a violent man Yeah, do better man, she knew she could But she was only 18 with two kids in the hood So she burdened the pain like a slavery chain Gave up her dreams, three jobs a week on sewing machines So I dwell on the pain Ah, uh, it's MBT Media. I'm here chilling with the bosses of the bosses. What's good? Yeah, JLC. What's good, bro? What's going on, man? Say for letting me coming down, man. That's cool, man. That's cool, no problem. What's the music saying at the moment, man? Music's going on really good at the moment. Really good, so I can't complain. It's working exactly how I want it to work. It's moving in the right direction. I hear that, I hear that. You know I'm saying it's just moving from strength to strength, basically. You've been giving us them hot collabs, I think, since 05, man. Bro, you know what I mean? So it's like, when I see, when I see them doing it now, it's like, wow, like, I was really that advanced from, <laughs> like, from 06, <laughs> dropping the tracks, like. Did you get one? <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, they're cutting on now, but it's all good, though. That's what, that's what the, that's what it's all about. And if you do something, you might not be the one, like, you might be the first, but you might not be the first to get out there worldwide, but at least you know in your heart hearts. You get me, you've been doing that move, it might have inspired someone to do that move anyway, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I'm cool with that, you get me? Like, as long as I see progression in the whole music game and the art form, that's what it's about. Like, so. well, do you know what I mean? Lies can't be told. Everybody knows. If you're just logged into Channel U, you would have seen JMC making a big boy collapse way back when man was still in school. So, yeah. respect to that anyway, man. It's cool, bro. It's cool. Like, well, thanks for doing all of that for the UK, man. No uh, doubt. It's cool, man. You spread the word worldwide and then all, all of a sudden now, Look at all the interest that's in the UK now from all over the world, you know what I'm saying? I hear that, man. I hear that. A lot of people might try and forget that it was JMC oh, that made man. that first link through, but well, you know. It goes back to all the Slick Rick days, you know what I mean? He was the pioneer first, then there was a few, like then Bronze and Black, and the thing with Styles P. Oh, yeah, I remember. Mean, so, that they're from my man, I saw it, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't mind promoting that. It's truth is truth, innit? So that's what it is, you get what I'm trying to say. Then right. I took it on the man from there, and I just took it to, like, I would like to say I took it further on by um, keeping it moving, you know what I'm saying? And then just keeping the links alive and just spreading the world, what, like spreading the world worldwide, isn't it? Like, Real talk, thanks for all of that, JMC. No like, problem. We proper appreciate it. No, that's cool. Yeah? Ah, well, we're going to go into a couple questions, man. People need to know about you because they don't really know much. What they do is they know. I'm a bit of an enigma, I know. Yeah, man. They just know you for that guy that's got that collab with yeah, stars. Who's this guy? Who's this guy? No, no, no. Sometimes. Who is JMC? JMC is just someone that just maintains the culture that he knows in it. Okay. I just stay real to what I am and what I'm doing. And you know what I mean? If I become successful doing that, then that will make me even more happy. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm saying to stick to my guns to do what I'm doing, which is being an independent artist and becoming successful doing it my way. You know what I'm saying? That's like, I suppose, every artist's dream. But at the end of the day, I'm letting other artists know it can still happen, you know what I'm saying? It's all great that man's getting signed and all that kind of stuff. That's great as well, you know what I'm trying to say as well. So it, it, it balances itself out, you know what I mean? It's like happy making the music you want to make or happy getting more money from the music that you're not so fond of making but you're doing it for doing it's sake and it's a job, you know what I'm saying? So okay. it's a balance of both, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? So I'm lucky for me. I've managed to be able to, to, to be at the level where I can do what I want with whoever I want, whenever I want. Okay, so, that's a good look. So how long have you been doing the music? I have been doing music since I can remember, you know what I'm saying? So this is part of me, man. This is part of me. And I've, I've, you know, even when like it wasn't even popular to be saying, yeah, I'm an artist and all that kind of, I've been doing it since the, like, you know what I mean? What inspired you to start making music? Bro, I've just always loved music. There's, just, there's, there's no, there's no when it's, there's no start date. You get me? Okay. This is a straight boy. I just always liked music, and that's it. And I always went into like, with that musical intentions as well as doing what I've done. You know what I mean? So, and the environment that I've been brought up is kind of like the music it reflects my music. Okay. So you know, I just real to what I'm doing. 
and just try to do it the way I can do it, the best way I can. How do you feel about the state of the game at the moment? State of the game is good, man. It's healthy. You know, everyone's like, like the majors have finally realised that the UK talent can compare with anywhere in the world. The other parts of the world realise that the UK talent is as good as what they've had. It's just, I've always said it all the time, it's just never been promoted or funded. You know what I'm saying? Like, simple as that. You know, especially like, if you check out the population of the UK to say a country like America or whatever. Is, you know, the money involved is two different things, you know what I'm trying to say? So now they're treating UK music like the Champions League, but before they were treating it like it's, you know, it's a non-league thing, you know what I'm saying? Remember them days. Talent's always been there, like, you know, you know I mean, look at all, even from British artists like Loose Ends, all those kind of artists from back in the day, bro, like, the talent's always been in the UK, you know what I mean? We've always been trendsetting, you know what I mean, in the fashion world and music, so, you know, it's just great now that, you know, that people are benefiting from it, that should be benefiting from it, from, from it now. That's okay. It. As an international artist, because that's what you are, you're not like a standard artist, do you know what I'm saying, Jersey? As an international artist, what's it like looking in now at the UK? It's good, like, it's great, because at the end of the day, like, I've taken the UK, my UK, um, should I say, my UK lifestyle, and I've shown it to the other parts of the world, and they've embraced it, bro, so, you know what I mean? That's all I can do in it. All I can do is let them know that the UK has got talent. And I ain't the only one with talent. So, you know, you know, sometimes you, you know, people are stereotyped, you know, when you go places like some places in America, you know what I mean? Talking about the Queen and all that, like we see every day, all that kind of crap. You get me? And then you just show them that like, a lot of man can rap, like real man, roll man from, from roll can rap just like what you're doing over here. And once they acknowledge that and they see that, you know what I mean? Then that's what it is. So it's good to actually have someone of myself that would go around the world promoting UK and then letting people eyes open that worldwide and coming back. So it's all good now. Now I see all UK artists now doing collabs with big American artists and you know what I mean Jamaican artists now. That's, that's great bro. How's your single doing with Sizzle at the moment? Uh, the Sizzle tune's doing really good at the moment. Uh, should be out for a digital release at the end of March. Had to put that back because I've been doing some more international travelling, <laughs> doing some more work okay. abroad and that. So we've pushed that back now to March. Um, that's going to come out after the new Hollywood Part 2 Roadworks. Okay. Um, that'll be uh, coming at the end of March and from there straight onto the album, the uh, second album. If you haven't already got the first album, don't forget to get Safe Cracker. That's out on iTunes now. I mean, the second album is going to be called Barcode. Um, you know, just keeping in you know, the theme of my kind of style of music from Safe Cracker and that's the barcode, you know what I mean? So it's just just keeping it uniform the same, you know what I'm saying? So it's, yeah. it's like a trilogy, you just keep going. You know? Talk to us about Vote, because I keep hearing Vote a lot, you know what I'm saying? Vote is my creation of being the, the, the UK equivalent of like what Russell Simmons done with Death Jam. Okay. Which is taking it from the roads and turning it into a corporate giant, basically. Okay. And that, that is the goal with that. And, and that's exactly what's happening from the different arms of Vault now. We've got like the Vault Studios, we've got <coughs> Vault Artists now that we're going to be working with, we've got the Vault Talent. Um, things that we're looking to, you know, promote talent. We've got the comedy nights. You now we've got the clothing label coming soon as well. Okay. You now we're, you know, we, we're starting to venture to films. You now, so the empire is growing short, slowly but surely. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, and doing it all independently as well is is what's keeping it going. You know what I'm saying? That's not easy, you know. It's not easy, but like, you know, life ain't easy. The life I've had from since the start ain't been easy. So, you know what I mean? Like, Tell me a little bit about barcode. Well, barcode, you know, this makes appropriate sense, isn't it? Like, from the safe crack card to barcode. Um, and it's about bars. And it's, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you've got bars, you're in the game. You know what I mean? Mm. Bars pay the rent, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. So, um, that is going to be a second album. And it still, like I said, stays in the theme of the safe cracker mode. Okay. And obviously, this one you're going to see more creativity from JMC, 
we're still the same element of what's brought me here today. Um, I don't lose my identity in it, but you know, it's still going to be me and it's going to be more creative album musically. Um, we've got a lot of new in-house producers that we're working with, singers. So you're going to start hearing some, some, you know, some vocals. Um, and we're just going to get more musical with it. Okay. And we're basically going to be pushing the JMC brand through it more as well. You know what I'm okay. saying? So it's going to be more and more of JMC, which everyone's been asking me for. You know, like JMC or more of JMC. Like I'm too much of a recluse. You get me? Um, so now you're gonna now I hope the world's ready for when, what James is about to oh, James is good. Ah, Jay, yeah. um, you had a few things from me, man. Like and the fans out here, I heard an exclusive track with Jay Dickis. So I'm saying, like, tell me about the features on that album, Jay. Well, the Barcode album, like I said, it's gonna be more musically creative, more song orientated. Like, you know, I like doing songs. You know what I mean, like, um, and it's gonna just be a much more filled produced album, you know what I mean? Because you've got to show progress on actual lyrical content, musical content, and production content. That's how I see it. So from the safe crack I listen to this one now, I'm like, wow, you get me? So, you know, the next album after that is going to be bigger than that one, and I just, I just got to keep moving, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, the feature of Jada Kiss is big, the track's called This Is What It Looks Like. Um, you know, obviously, that's like the end of the trilogy, the D-Block, you know, Boss the boss, you know what I mean? He's the, the boss of the people, and I'm the boss of me, so he said, you know, we don't be right that we, you know, get down and do that, and we go back to back, and he only, you know, he really does that with anyone else apart from Styles, so for him to go back to back with a UK artist, you know what I mean? It shows you the movement and the level of what James is up to at the moment. So that's going to be out on the album. Um, also, we've got more Jim. Jamaican artists are about jumping on that Sizzler tune. Yeah. Um, they're feeling that out there in the yard, so. Watch out for some more collabs coming from that direction. Um, I've done something also with our Murder Mook, who's okay. the, the freestyle guy, uh, King. Um, we've got a hot track on there as well, which is like a track dedicated to both of our brothers. Okay. You know what I mean? That are away at the moment for a very long, a very long time. Yeah, yeah. Majesty's pleasure. So we just you know, we set a dedication to both of them like that on the track. So it's okay. like a heart feeling track as well, you know, like to do them. They're in, in road emotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get me? So that's that's where that one's at. And we've also got a track with some RB singers on there. Um, one called Robbie Nova. Um, he was signed to Acom's label. And that track's called Going to London. And that's going to be a massive track. Look out for that. You get what I'm saying? That's going to be played everywhere. I know it is. Um, then we've got the pop chicks coming out as well. There's a lot, an array of tunes coming out. It's going to be all different variety. But at the same time, I'm gonna still be me. Still gonna be Jay. Still gonna be me, the artist. You know what I mean? Like, you know, but it's, like I said, you have to grow as an artist and you have to let fans know that you're growing as well as an artist and they can see the development. You know what I'm saying? Uh, definitely. Know? So, as like I said, I'm taking it from the corner to the corporate corner and that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, so, JMC, tell us about your comedy night. Yeah, the next comedy night um, is gonna be on March the 6th and it's a big, big lineup. Some of the biggest. Comedians in the UK, we've got um, Slim, you know, we've got Kevin J, we've got Little Man, we've got Mo, you know what I mean? we've got Life PAs as well. It's gonna be a good night out, you know what I'm saying? So, and a funny, funny night. So it's called You're Having a Laugh. Mm. Make sure you holler at me on Twitter, that's JMC Volt, J M C V A U L T. Same for the Facebook as well. Inbox me for the tickets or you know, we come deliver the tickets, get tickets delivered to you, but tickets are going up kind of fast still, so make sure you holler at me. You know what I mean? And come down and support the calls, JMC Comedy Night, one night stand, you having a laugh, make sure you're there. Okay. Hey. Alright, JMC, thanks for letting us come down, no interviewing you, yeah? No problem. It's been a pleasure, man. No problem, thanks for coming yeah. down. And that, media. your bars are us. Cheese! Oh, that, was, that was that was live still. The hits on that's crazy, man. No, bro. Like, like I said, I, I, I haven't done enough. You know, I've been, I've, been a, I've been a bit of a recluse, but sometimes when you, you're doing all these movements, you get me, you can't always be around to, to do that. But I'm always open to doing that stuff. And I'm a man that, you know, you reached out to me, if you reach out to me correctly, and the movement's right, what you're doing's proper, I'll deal with that. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, people got to realise that it's how you approach people certain times. 
Like, I'm down to work with anyone, big, little, unknown, I don't care. If I like a beat and it's from, from a 10 year old, if I like it, I'll deal with them and make sure they get what they're meant to get from it. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Likewise, yeah. where I think a lot of people turn their nose up if, if it's not this man or that man. I'm not materialistic when it comes to music, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, as far as I'm concerned, if it's heat, it's heat, and that's all I want to be associated with. Yeah. So, thank you for coming down to MBT, you know what I'm saying? Like, Everybody make sure you stay locked to MBT Media, JMC's telling you that. E-I-E, rap.